Hello, my name is Tarkane, and I'm going to be showing you quickly how to set up a DLC pack for map modding. And I will be doing it so you can get your XML files as well, which is your content and your setup to the XML files. So, what we're going to do, you're going to navigate to open IV. Um, you will do if you haven't enabled it already, enable mods. Um, hopefully, by this stage, you should have uh, got to this part. Um, once you get to mods, what you're going to need to do. You need to uh, go into edit mode. Which it does prompt now, it's not a problem. Um, just come through to. So you, here you've got your DLC packs. Uh, this would normally be empty, so um, we won't do. I will be starting a new one from scratch for me. So uh, I've actually got edit on. Obviously, we just come through that. Create a new folder. Uh, tutorial. Okay, now you got a tutorial folder. Okay, and this is your DLC pack. But now you have to build with inside of it. You can come over to new and do our RPF archive as well. Um, call it DLC. That's the DLC pack. Okay, now you go back into this one. So then now you create a folder which is time 64. Okay. Now it looked like a folder but within the DLC, which is fine. That's what you want to make sure that the two icons look different, all right? Trying to make this as simple as I can, um, so if you're not sure, just ask. It's pretty, it's pretty simple. Okay, so now you go into your time 64, into your time 64, to add another folder, which is this little button here. Okay, you need to get your levels. Once you get your levels, go into here, create another folder, GTA 5. Now you got your GTA 5 folder. Now you create a new RPF archive. Uh, you can call it whatever you want. Um, I'm just going to call it Tutorial Interiors. Okay. So there you go. And this is where you would store all your files, your YDF, YDFs, everything, everything that you need to create your map mod. And this is how it would stream. So if I give you an example, so this is Del Para PD that I've been working on. Okay. So. It streams out the exact same, yes, as you can see. Then I've just called it interior, and these are the files that I'm currently using. Same with my other one, I called it models. Same scenario, right? Okay, so you now should be all set up and ready to go. Um, this will be the next step. Was creating your content XML and your setup XML files. Um, so what you need to do, you need to navigate through and go to your DLC, okay? So every single DLC will have its own separate one. Okay, so now what you need to do to set up your content XML and set up to XML. Let's go to five mods, um, DLC, matter, generate content XML and set up, okay? Um, Number of columns. Um, he created it, so credit goes to him for that, uh, which works really well. So head over there, download it, load it up. Uh, initially, what I would normally do by this point, I would have already created some part of my interior. Um, in your DLC pack name, the tutorial, which is this one. Okay. Then you need to add your RPF file, which would be tutorial materials. Then you add it. Uh, Spell. Materials. Okay. Now it creates all the files for you. Just I would add my YTYP file. So I don't know. Let's call it tutorial underscore YTYP. Okay. Now you add that in, and this will link to your YTYP file. Now just click generate. Save it where you want. So now that should be saved. And these are the two files. Drag and drop. There's make sure you drop it in your DLC pack. So you just come over to here. Drag and drop. So you've got time 64 content and setup. Um and that should be in all your DLC packs. And that is now done.